What's going on everybody? This is Frosty and this is Chillin' with Frosty and we are playing Frostpunk. Uh, this is the third episode, the third installment of this game. I am liking it quite a lot. Uh, it's interesting, anytime you're fighting against the, the whole world and everything's gonna die and it's just total panic all the time, that's uh, super, um, super entertaining to me. Uh, it doesn't sound great, but it's not happening to me. It's happening to them, so that that's far better. If it was happening to me, obviously, that would suck a lot. Uh, the last episode, I was uh, promising to save all these people, and then I found out that I can't actually do anything about it, uh, because I can't tell them to go and not be sick, uh, which sucks. Uh, so, ultimately, um, we're going to have to deal something about that and do something about that. Oh, you guys stop doing wood crates. What are you doing? What are you doing to me? Wood crates aren't good. Sawmill. Let's do um two engineers and uh, all that. Okay. And then there's no more steel, but I feel like we need it, so I'm gonna go ahead and max you out, and I'm gonna give you those engineer boys too. Um. Oh, it tells me where my engineers are. Does it? Okay. Okay. Did I, was it an engineer that I lost last time? No, that equals 15. We have 15 engineers, we're good. Okay, this building is all right. Workforce will gather coal. Is that the amount of coal that's left within its radius? If so, that's not much, and we need to build another thing with Jig Bob Doohickey. Um, gathering post, you go be gatherer. You go do that, please. And then you... No. No. Where do I... Where do I build the streets? I know you just click on, like, the edge of it, and it makes it work. I thought. Okay, well, we're obviously not... Oh, there's a little button for it. You just select it. No. Oh. I promise I'm not stupid. There we go. Nope. Okay, that's good. You guys go and build that. Uh, you... No, you... No. We don't need to extend work hours anywhere for right now. Except for you! Yeah, medical post is 24 hours a day. You can introduce a new law. Now, the law that they were asking me to introduce last time uh, was radical treatment versus sustain. Um, obviously, uh, I don't feel like diving into the deep end with child labor just yet. Uh, so, I don't think sustained life makes sense. I mean, we want to save people, right? But, Care House. What does Care House do? Does Care House eventually bring them back to life? Like, does it make them... I just, what I'm, what I'm afraid of is I'm going to hit sustained life. People are going to be real happy about that. And then, uh... Gravely old, un but untreated in medical posts. Hope will rise slightly. Uh, gravely old will not be trained and remain a burden. Gravely ill will take beds in medical posts. See, that just seems all bad. Whereas this, we might be able to save them. Like, but it feels like the way we save them is by cutting them up. But we also, I feel like we'll be able to extra rations for ill overcrowding. I feel like this also maybe will be able to be evolved to wherever we are not going to necessarily be doing quote unquote radical treatment, but I don't want to install a culture where we don't try and save people's lives. Like if they get sick, we don't want to just put them on life support and throw them in a corner. I want to try and make them better. So I'm thinking radical treatment. Bam! And see, it did both. Increased hope and uh, that, yeah, and now people are... I just hope they cut my long off if I fall ill. Even with our advances in medicine, we have to resort to this. Yeah. Yeah, you do. You know, this is shit shit can happen. Um, hold the fuck on. What does that say? Does that say zero food, zero rations? Uh... Well, it's just advanced time, because I think everybody's about to die. 
Uh, on day six, one of our people died. I died from lack of treatment. You know, I, I did make a promise. <laughs> and this could be a loophole. And I'm not sure the game will like this particular loophole. But I promised that all the sick would be treated. But if there are no treated people left because they're all dead, does that count? I'm just trying to be optimistic. I, I, someone has to fill the hope bar. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Mr. Roderick Spicer. He was a worker. He will be missed. Uh, next is Beacon, because if I kill killing fucking people, I'm going to have to deal with that. Uh, you guys get ten food a day. How much food do I consume? Like, is there a way to check that? Like, uh, raw food, about two hours, rations. What was that? Why did you just autofocus on that? Um, I just want to know how much food I consume a day. Does it say anywhere? Like, can I select a person? Uh, low risk of getting new. Florence Olster. Uh, going to build. Where are you going? Oh, yeah. Go build. Go build. Be good boy. Um, where does it say how much people eat? People from our colony, build beacon, uh, rescue survivors on expeditions, burials, uh, provide a place for the rest of dead, uh, take care of the ill, provide treatment for our people, 20 hours related. You keep getting sick. Stop it. Stop it, people. How do I make them not sick? I guess... Okay. Um, so we can't drawing boards so I guess this is a tiered based system and you can't even access these like you still have to have the prerequisites but you can't even access these until your generic tier is increased so basically we need boards to draw on before we can even start doing that that's fine um, beacon okay we're gonna go beacon uh, you know what people are freezing to death let's go heaters Okay, because right now, everybody's sick. Okay, yeah. Everybody's sick right now because it's so cold in where they work. But if I can increase the amount of uh, workers, uh, or if I can increase the heat just in the structures where the physical work is taking place, maybe I can stop people from dying, and then that will be uh, much better. Um, I'm 17 sick, though, and I just I don't like that. Like, I, I know there's not much I can do. Are these status working, going home, working, going home, partners, status, this person is terminally ill, but getting treated, terminally ill, getting treated, oh, so the reason why I'm not helping everybody right now is because uh, there are only five medical beds per location, um, so I need 25 wood, why do I have no wood? Why do I have no wood? I'm at 100% efficiency. Work for your 40. And my food is also gone. Looks like that increased a little bit, but I would really like to know what my rations are. They're going to be so mad at me, but it looks like everybody's going to stay sick. Everybody's going to stay sick until I get heaters, and then I'm going to put heaters inside of the workplaces, and then everybody's going to be happy, and then we're going to be good. I feel like that's the that's the, that's the play, uh, and whenever you run out of coal, I'm gonna move you here to get coal again. It looks like each coal deposit has 500. Yes, okay, and uh, that coal deposit only has 15, so that's not actually gonna be worth going to get iron ore deposit. Now I'm thinking that these coals here are gonna be better, and that's what a coal thumper is for. Uh, by pumping pressurized water into underground coal deposits, the coal thumper washes the precious resources to the surface, forming a pile above. Uh, you know, I guess you don't really have to worry about greenhouse gases whenever the entire Earth is, like, you know, freezing to death. Um, but then again, yeah, that, uh, that could be completely false, but it seems to me that that, that makes sense. You're just, right now, you're, you're worried about not dying. Uh, can I rotate the camera? Like, oh, wow. You know how many times that would have helped me? Lots. But this is my base view, so, okay. We'll, we'll keep up with that. We'll keep doing that. 
be cool. Uh, coal piles, those are about to be gone. So we need, we're going to need thumpers eventually, uh, but we'll switch you from one side to the other. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm not going to worry about that for right now. Cookhouse, not functioning, and it's not functioning. Okay, uh, I think that this is running too efficient, because we're not getting enough food to justify it. So I'm going to drop it by to two people. You guys cook up the tasty tasties, and then you go and get me the tasty tasties. Right now, our coal uh, consumption is okay, so we are net positive. We are going in a net positive fashion, so I would like to just keep that going for now. And then uh, I think we're going to need a medical post at some point. Allow us to use AES. Yes, please. Heater's research. Now, how do I keep this motherfucking building? Heater is off. Emergency shift. Heater is on. Heater is on. Heater is on. Heater is on. I know I'm using a lot of coal here, but... Oh, no, no. Oh, shh. Uh, can I cancel that shit? Because I think they're going to be mad. Okay, well, whatever. Look, I love you guys, and I'm sorry. I clicked the wrong button. Um, gathering outpost is inoperative, and it's saying that there's not a road to it. Street's not connected, huh? Is that is that, is that, that true true? Is that that true true? Why is at least one marker it's not connected? Street is not connected to generator. Okay. Where's the... Okay. Build. Is there an easy way to click on the street again? I know I did it. I'm just I'm just randomly and furiously clicking. Like, last time it gave me a little button that looked like this out here. And it's not doing that now. And I need it to do that. Okay. I want to select that street. Maybe... I have no idea. I mean, I'm obviously going to have to figure it out. Because if I don't figure it out, there will be death. But for right now... Hmm. Weird. Um... settings. Let me, uh... Sorry, I'm sorry! Zoom in, pack area, increase computer, uh, construction panel... B... Unfishing uh, 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 tracker, blah blah blah, cut, 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 Fast game speed, reset game speed, blah blah blah... Nothing that would make me... You could introduce a new law. I'm not sure I want to do that. Um, let's do coal thumping. Coal thumping, and then uh, are you officially? No, you're not out of that. True, true. You're not out of that. Um, okay. I need to figure out how to do the street thing reliably because I feel like that's pretty important. Uh, dismantle building, obviously not what I want. Alt operation, obviously also not what I want. Uh, why? Like, there's sometimes wherever I can click the street and it's super obvious and easy, and then there's sometimes wherever it's just not doing it. Okay, yeah, okay, I have no idea. That looks a little chilly out there. Select all mark all. Amputees! Oh, no, that's not what that said. Oh, yes, it is what that said. Amputees, number of amputees, care house, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
Okay, so we've got our first peg leg. That is my fault, but I am doing it in hopes that there will be more stuff later. There's ups and downs, but we're alive. Let's keep it that way. I just pray we get by. Nothing more, nothing less. You already said that! And I already told you to be more hopeful. What is that? First amputation. Uh, to save this patient's life, we had to perform an amputation. As a result, the person won't be able to work. What? What? Okay, let's see what we must do something about it. Prosthetics law. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. So the gravely ill and amputees are cared for in a low cost special homes. Okay. Okay, so, but this. Okay, so we're going to treat them, we're going to give them a care house, and then we're going to give them legs. I love it. I love it. Okay. That's 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 how we're gonna do it. Now I just need to build this fucking road. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just let me build the road. It's the best we can do for them right now. Well it means bed foods. More bed and foods for the rest of us. Oh my god, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um can I even give employees to that right now? I'm not gonna worry about it. Okay. Right now I don't need it just yet. I think maybe whenever I put people in it, it'll help me fix that. Uh, I mean, it's flashing. Right? It's flashing. It's in big, flashy letters. Care house, okay. Go ahead and build a care house. Um, that also means that there's probably a corpse place thing. Right? Cemetery. Not adjacent to street. Does it have to be? Does it have to be really? All right, that's fine. Um, I do not think we're going to take care of the ill very well, uh, but I would like to do one more medical facility as well. It's a lot of resources that I just used real fast, but uh, whatever. How are we on coal? You are almost out of coal. Okay. And we're at regular speed. That's the reason why the world's just twilling by. Oh, that feels so much better. The number of sick just keep going up. Coal Thumper Research. Thank you. Now we will do Beacon. Beacon. Because we're going to start needing more people here pretty soon. Uh... Uh, we still definitely need metal. Do the research gathering things also do wood crates? So I could stack something right here. Oh, what is it now? A frightened patient. One of our people is facing death, but he's refusing amputation. He keeps screaming. He does not want anybody to touch his leg. He won't change his mind, even though the gangrene will kill him in a matter of hours. Okay, so now this is one of those just like, you know, Hippocratic Oath things, you know, do no harm, but, you know, if you've got a person that's in a hysterical state, and uh, they're saying, no, I don't want you to perform a medical service that's going to save my life, uh, I, I just feel like he doesn't know about the dreams, you know, the dreams of the plastic legs that are in his future. I mean, those legs are awesome, I mean... Not that awesome. I mean, obviously, it sucks if you're uh, if you uh, don't have a leg, but you know, it's gonna be better than not being alive. I, I think anybody can agree with that. So I, I just feel like he's you know in a frightened state right now, and I think he needs help, and he needs just someone to whack his leg off. But I could be being a dick. Oh my god, this is mean. I'm not gonna let him die. I'm not gonna let him die. Sorry, buddy. Uh, there's a care house I'm building for you. It's gonna be awesome. You're gonna love it. Oh, okay. Man, I just felt my own leg get chopped off just then. Ugh. You know, I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, if 
I was sitting there and someone was like, yeah, we're going to chop your leg off and you aren't going to be able to walk again. Man, that'd be, that'd be tough. That'd be tough. I mean, I, I really like walking. It's super important to my daily life. Uh, so, are you guys not... Oh, wow, I don't have any workers that can build. I can't pull anybody from food. Uh, we can pull from metal. Just, you guys get bent. You guys pull off for a little bit. Uh, you guys are still getting wood, and wood is actually pretty important. So we're going to pull off metal for now, and we're going to put onto that got steel wreckage in a few places but there's not much steel left so we're gonna have to start thinking about iron ore here let me look at the resources resources we need to be able to do resources allow us to build steel works i don't know why you are immediately russian whenever you need metal but uh extracts ore from deep deposits and uh, processes and delivers up to 40 steel per standard work day uh that's not bad the question is, is that once we have those deposits, is this like an immortal source wherever you're always going to be able to get coal from it? Or once we put an extractor there, is it going to assign a total dollar value or its total value? Because whenever I look at um, like here, for instance, or here, it'll tell me how much wood is in these places. And it'll tell me how much steel and metal is there. But here it doesn't do that. Uh, but then again doesn't tell me how much is here at these trees either it's just harvesting so is this like a mortal tree farm do i not have to worry about trees ever again because of that that'd be a little silly i mean seeing how we have such a small place to work with i would see how they would probably start to uh you know have to have some type of unlimited resource but whatever all right so we need a coal thumper let's build a coal thumper full full it went green, and then it's not green anymore. What is happening? Meow, meow, meow. Play, invalid place, place here will block an important facility. To not. Uh, I'm having a thought that these little blocks were not for a coal thumper. What is that? Build street. Yes! No, that's not what I want. Uh, build build there we go i think that's good all right so i want to look at this one more time resources coal thumper steam coal thumper coal thumper injectors and then there's advanced coal mine so i think coal thumper is just something i build somewhere and it just kind of happens um, have you built the street yet? Did you build my, my roadie road? Okay, you, you, okay, that that should be good now, right? Let's, let's take another look. Yeah, that should be good. Now. Okay. Um, I think uh, by pumping pressurized water into underground coal deposits, coal thumper washes the uh, precious resources of the surface. No. What is... You know, it's showing me areas to the right and the left. Oh. No? I have no idea where to put this thumper. Because it, it clearly says you can't do it there. Well, no, I think I was just too close. Uh, was I just too close? It feels like it would be matching directly on this square, though. So I feel like I'm going to build it here, and then it's not going to work. But we're doing it. Uh, and then we're going to build a roadie road. That road. Build more road. Okay. Okay. Um, you, how you doing? You're almost out of the coal coal. Okay. Uh, I think the work day is over. Workday's over, so there you're gonna go chill. And, um. You can research. Okay. Time to get some folks. Because we are gonna need more people if we're gonna keep growing, and right now we're kind of in a non sustainable state. 
Uh, resources technology, begin. 2135 steel, that is a hefty cost, that is. Um, we're gonna stick you not attached to a street. And we need it somewhere that's gonna have some heat. Okay, I'm going to put it here, and then I'm going to street up a little bit. Uh, so we're going to put a little Billy street right here. I'm just going to do this little number right there. Okay. Because that will put me in maximizing that. And then it... I hope it doesn't require workers, because we're really kind of scraping the bottom of the barrel here on that. Uh, you... Uh, we're going to keep you... We're going to bone crew you down to one. And we're going to jack you up to six. We're going to leave three workers available for uh, building structures. Which doesn't seem like nearly enough. Uh, but I feel like we kind of need to do that. No workers there. No workers there. Can I check where all my, where are all my workers? I think if I max out the workers at some place, it'll tell me where they all are. Yeah. Okay. So, eight... 2, 13, 13, 1. So I'm really heavy on food. Okay. You guys are my builders. Be builders. Engineers. I value uh, research. I believe in science. It's like that um, sidekick from uh, Natro Libre. It's like, no, I believe in science. Uh, so we'll go from there. And then, um, yeah, then we're going to build the street. The street is in the process of being built. House care for promise fulfilled. Yeah. Yeah, of course I... Psh, yeah, I fulfilled it. Now, taking care of the ill, I, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, we've got a care house. And then we've got medical post, and I've got another medical post. Um, we're just going to staff... Yeah. We're going to do a double staff like that. Why did discontent rise? Because people are hungry? I don't understand. Beacon limit. We are, we are no longer lost and blind. From now on, our people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surround us. The Frostland. Now, the fact that it did a comma and name leads me to believe that this is going to get into a bigger game. Oh, cutscene! Cutscene. It's like a StarCraft or one of those original World of War... Oh, one of those original Warcraft... Uh, not World of Warcraft cutscenes, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, Warcraft 3. You know, they have a little cutscene and it's got the little dude on a horse that looks like a, you know, G.I. Joe tiny character and he's just running up and down. Uh, but whatever. Oh, snap. I was not expecting this. Okay, so... No, no, no. Expedition lost. Numerous tents. We can see people moving about. They must be the lost members of our expedition. Crash sites. Several wrecked vehicles. No signs of life. They're probably our machines. Let's hope so. We had to leave a number of supplies in them after the crash. So, I actually um, think that we're going to value the life over this. One, I feel like this game will be kind of dickish. And if I don't save them, then, you know, one of these is going to go away. Like, if I go for the supplies first, they'll die. So, I, th I think I want to do that. So send scouts. Can I... Can I, send, can I send scouts? Okay, well, I, I have selected that one, so... Can, okay. Thank you, thank you. I guess I'm going to select the beak. Need to create. Oh shit! Create a scout team. Oh well, it costs resources to create a scout team. That's. Okay, send scouts here. Okay, go. Uh, okay. Eleven hours until they arrive. Scouts number one sent to lost location, lost expedition, whatever. You guys go have fun. Be safe. Be safe. 
it is... We're in free time right now. Everybody's chilling. Uh, we can afford to... Oh, come on. Ready to search. I'm already searching. Uh, cheers, this drone officer for prison. We needed a win. We needed a win. Just remember who provided you that win. You know, just remember who provided you that win. That was my completely <laughs> reckless decision making that has got us here. But, uh, you know, I, I believe that I, I tried my best. Can I start this? Drawing boards allow us to research tier one technologies, time eight hours. And it just requires some wood. Why don't we have the wood? Oh, because I've made the expedition. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we're going to have to create another uh, couple of wood sawmills. But the main thing we need right now is people. And also food. I just, did I just go and get a bunch of people to bring back and I have no food for them? Great, that was a good idea. That was a good idea, Frosty. Let's let's do that. Let's let's, let's crank that up. Now, uh, I'm pretty sure what's going to end up happening is I don't know how much the efficiency. So the efficiency goes down quite a bit. So it goes down. Yeah, it goes down in a percentage. So. There is no increased efficiency by offloading 50% uh, from here to here to here to here. Uh, so we're going to just have to hope that the moment that those people walk into the door, we're going to be able to provide, uh, send them to get food. Uh, we're going to produce another steam hub as well. And we're going to produce it this way. And uh, the reason why because it'll keep these little buildy builds warm, which is good. It'll kind of increase living conditions. Uh, okay, so you guys have fucked off. That's good. Engineer, you just, I mean, it's going to be sad in there. It's going to be real sad. I'm going to keep you warm. What was that? Let's go to work. We can't let up now. We can keep going like this for a while, I'd say. Oh, see, that is the spirit. That's what I wanted. I wanted you guys to just commit. Commit to the thought that, you know, even though this is terrible and life is terrible and all things are terrible and, you know, it's only going to continue to be terrible, you guys are the heart and soul of this operation. We need you to be awesome. So, keep making wood. And you are a coal deposit. Okay, um, my coal is running out pretty substantially, and nobody's available because they're building these things. Not great. Not great. How close are we, Mr. Beacon Boys, from coming back? You have no car to go underway to target location. We're going to go one more day. Uh, I know that this is running a little bit on the long side, but I want to advance these things through real fast because uh, we need to get a few things done or else we're going to die horrible, horrible deaths. You guys, please go. Oh, okay. Coal, please. Please make coal happen. No thanks. Uh, someone left a note at the care house. It reads, thank you. With all the work we had to do, it's so hard for him to probably care for them uh, for an invalid. That's a little... <laughs> yeah, I'll be... Okay, Play, plays like this make it a little easier for all of us. Now, I know that this is a thank you note, but invalid? Mm, this is a little harsh. Uh, a little harsh. Uh, I'm fine with calling him, you know, fucktard. That's okay, but invalid. Invalid's like deep core sadness. Like, if y'all call someone a fucktard, it's like, buddy, buddy. Hey, we're friends. Call someone an invalid. That just means that they're like literally, you know, dumb and dumber eating freaking ketchup off the walls. Uh, anyway, uh, that's going to be pretty much where I'm going to wrap that one up. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die here in like... 10 minutes, but uh, I think we're going to be able to get one more episode out of this. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it and you uh, want to see more of it, uh, give me a like. If you think it's stupid, 
to dislike. It's fine. How else do we grow? How else do we learn? And also, uh, leave a comment if you have any game suggestions. I am always available and always interested to hear what people want to see. Uh, just because, you know, if you think it's a cool game and it's going to be fun and it's going to be interesting to watch me play, then shit, I'm all down for it. Anyway, um, as always, I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And uh, thanks for chilling with Frosty.